Uh, depression, uh, we understand, is something that comes from chronic, unrelenting stress. Without getting too complicated, the hypothalamus and pituitary are in our brain, adrenal glands are near our kidney, so we have mind and body interaction. Exercise doesn't just give us a better sense of self-image and self-confidence and social support, but it truly changes the chemical makeup of our regulatory, of our emotional regulatory system. It doesn't matter how intelligent you are or how motivated you are, the most difficult thing can be taking the first step. It can be your own park. Get out the door and put one foot in front of the other. And I think what you'll find is, well, I know what you'll find is that you feel better after the first or second step than you did when you're struggling to get out the door. And it literally can be a struggle. Chris and I worked out together for 13 years. And in that time, we have gone through my divorce, <laughs> um, two job changes, um, many life circumstances, and just the act of physically getting my tennis shoes on and walking out the door is sometimes the best thing I can do for myself. And just breathing in the fresh air and giving myself some alone time to think and be clear, it's always what brings me around to getting the decision that I need to make, whatever it is, whether it's a personal decision, financial, emotional. And depression, for example, is a thinking disturbance. It's a way of thinking about events in our life and labeling ourselves as losers. I'm the jerk. Of course, this always...